out of us will be energized. I would like to request the animators to lead an action song. Please have the floor. Let us dance all together. And I want to see everyone dancing, no? moving. Okay? Or else I will ask you to dance alone. Today, have the floor now. Good morning, Good morning. 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 I want you to watch a certain video and I am also certain that you are familiar with this song entitled Kapaligiran by Asin. Are you familiar with that? Yes. So probably some, probably not. Okay. So this time, I am going to play the video and I want you to look up the video and if you know the song, you try to sing it along. Now, 
If you can finish it before or if you are done already, do not wait for me to tell you to post your work. Automatically post your work on the board and give your yell, your short yell, for me to recognize that you are done already. So as I said, you are only given five minutes. So your time starts now. Think of, 
take note that science is a way of thinking. And what will happen if you're going to put it into action and produce a certain product, it will become technology. Okay, so therefore, technology is the cause why our natural resources are damaged. But we also have to consider that technology contributed much to the development of our of our society. So let us weigh down its effects. Let us have a debate. The proposition is this. Is technology beneficial or detrimental? So since you are already divided into two, so this will be the first team and the second team. What you are going to do is that you select six representatives as your debater. Are you with me? Please listen to my instructions. Select six again representatives. Six representative as your team debater or debating team, and then you assign the first three members as your speaker. Decide also in your team as to who will act as the first speaker, second speaker, and the third speaker or the rebuttal speaker. The other three members will act as the supporters, and of course will do the rebuttal and support the answers of each of the speakers. So, how are you going to do this? The the speakers are only given two minutes to express the three main, main, main line. Okay, so what is your talk okay, about your line? So you are only given two minutes and whether you are done or not, you have to stop your your speech. Okay? So the first to, to speak is the first speaker from the positive or affirmative side and that will be followed by the first speaker from the negative side and followed by the second positive, second negative, third positive and third negative after which the rebuttal will follow. Okay, so at this time I would like to call in the mediator Miss Tikao and also our timer, where is she? Okay, the timers. Okay, you may transfer there. Okay, at the back, please back in that area. Our planet Earth is much like a home, but we never care to look after it like our homes. We utilize it with resources. We pollute it with waste or trash. And we never thought that what things would be like in the coming days or future. Never thinking what shape things would be in for our children. Resources are features of environment that are important and value up to you in one form or the other. However, the advancement of modern technology has a great impact on our planet's natural resources. Third speaker will be Raina Alpachete and will be supported by their members Sheila Pation, Jemari Plaza, and Wendy Moran. I would like to introduce the checker of attendance, Ms. Gian Aves, the timer assigned Lassa May Salili, and our videographer, Ms. Seidel Perli Bria. But before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our observer and at the same time our judges, Mr. Reynaldo Enriquez, Ma'am Mercedes Insufficiently advanced technology is equivalent to magic, as it was stated by an inventor, Arthur C. Clarke. My group will talk about the beneficiary and the efficiency of the technology which we are going to contend. We are so sure that technology gives a great deal to assist each of a person's lifestyle, and in which it also gradually elevated for the sake of our modern nature. I, I read some references in the internet, such as the statement of a famous author 
named Paul Smith in his slide, which also named as EdTech Review, saying that technology gives a gratifying deal to alleviate the pain we get from difficult jobs. He stated there that technology can give us an access to information, help protecting the environment, increase the popularity of distance learning, easiness in teaching, and would also make the education enjoyable. Not just in education, technology gives benefits, but also to the life of every human. We all know that nowadays, adversity is common to the life of every people living on Earth, yet it is not the end. Technology forms a project for the stated problem. Such, some inventors make a solar energy plant using the energy of the sun to make the job facile instead of using the weak force of our bare hands. They also make a sustainable method of fishing which fishermen ease their effort on catching with no harmful effects on the nature. I stated obviously that technology are really the need of every one of us. Moreover, it keep an eye for our comfort in our everyday livelihood. I try to wonder, why do they think that technology are detrimental to us? Can they wait for months and years to receive only a single letter from his or her loved ones? Imagine, how could we be without technology? Technology can't eradicate nature, but such technology gives a great deal to make our planet Earth free. Okay. Next. Our first speaker for the Team Negative, Jerusha India. The more advanced technology becomes, the more it seems to have control our lives. I believe that people have to readily embrace technology, seeking only for the benefits and ignoring the many downfalls. It was predicted by many that the future would be a surreal place. No one really seems very shocked about the advances. According to a new creed, technologists are turning ourselves, the planet, and everything into computer peripherals attached to the great computing clouds. The new was no longer about us, but about the big computational product that is greater than us. When we became habituated to the amazing technological advancement of recent years, we forgot to be thrilled and amazed. We lost the great sense of wonder of all. We take billions for granted, and so we ignore the human elements of fortitude, creativity, and intelligence. How can technology help to preserve our nature? Technology is a big help to preserve our Mother Earth. Scientists created many environmental-friendly technology and ventures like green fuel vehicles and hybrid vehicles. It is invented to reduce our air pollution caused by smoke, and it is also reduced to re and it also reduces the risk associated with ozone layer depletion. Environmental Protection Agency or EPA uses several several tools to prevent, detect, and identify violations. Many of the tools are used to ensure that industries comply with environmental law such as overseeing oil and gas production facility. Examples of it are Geospatial spatial Measurement of Air Pollution or GEMA. It is a device detecting pollution with digital sniffers. Scientists have also developed sensors to monitor the ocean's pH level in order to determine the acidity of the oceans, which could eventually kill off entire ecosystem if not monitored and controlled. In summary, technology only helps to improve lifestyles and safety of human life, as well as improve the environment of this planet for the future. Fortunate, fortunately, scientists also noted that intensive conservation can help to prevent the loss of many species. And scientists and engineers are helping to make the, to make this possible with technology that can protect you. Okay, you next Since the industrial revolution, society has become more and more dependent on technology. So much so that we sometimes lack the willingness to think before we act. Just like Carrie Snow said, technology is a queer thing. It gives you great gifts from one hand and stops you with the other. The advancements of technology generally evokes a range of emotions in people from all walks of life. 
Some view technology as a great evil that slowly diminishes our humanity, while others view it as a way to bring the world closer to help solve some of our greatest problems. People in today's society are always looking for ways to improve their lifestyle and in some ways help deal with their physical environment. The need of transportation brought vehicles into the market. The need for better employees brought robots into society. Battles over some things brought on the need of sophisticated weapons. Technologies are making our society worse. Technology is harming our society rather than helping it. Competitions between companies or even cities can make our lives even worse. In this room, to support the humankind on recalling the benefits that the technology had influenced us on making our way to what we are currently at now. We are here to help others to open up their minds and hearts that the technology was one of the components and the reason that we are living a fast and efficient life. First of all, it was stated in the speeches of my speakers that our environment nowadays really are vastly manifested with technology of all sense. And I can verify that through the power of the evidences that we have assembled with my team, that even without conducting such research, it's really obvious that we are massively influenced by the great magic of technology. Because even the way we study now, we use technology as an alternative style of learning different facts through online communication. By the work of our mobile devices like tablets, smartphones, and many more, which is just a specimen of the vast effort of technology. In addition to the first affirmative speaker, technology also boosts the forbearance of teaching by the teachers because through the work of technology, the teachers themselves can monitor the progress of the students that needs improvement. In the other side of using technology to protect our environment, technology is used to alarm citizens on how to improve the way of planting trees through online communication and different advertisements who have the goal on having a clean and green world. Additionally, it depends on the person if he uses the technology in the wrong way. It's not it's not destructive if the one who manipulates it is open-minded. Not only very efficient to use, technology can be a good source of job hiring as well, as you can see on the graphic table. Therefore, according to the references and the facts that we've gathered, we don't see any reason why using technology is instrumental and many reasons to say that technology really is beneficial. Thank you. And work without human. Don't you think that the Bible states that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth? Then God says that it is very good. But look at now. Can we declare that it is very good? Technology affects the way people live. Technology brings several diseases that only their technology also can cure. Technology makes the people to be lazy. What is the purpose of our hand that is given by God if the computer would make our assignments and projects? What is the purpose of your feet if you are riding a car that only can bring pollution? What is the purpose of your brain if you are depending what the internet could give you? Technology also can make the people to be rebellious. Before, children respect their parents. But now, because of that technology, they don't have respect anymore to their parents. So the first in Ephesians 6 was not anymore being followed by many of us. Because of technology, satanic rituals and what we call Illuminati existed. Technology is the work of Satan to divert us and enjoy us. And not knowing, we are forgetting what's the purpose of God that He brings us here. Music, movies, speeches, dramas, pornography, and cyber crimes is because of that technology. Yes, they say use what the earth has to offer. But use it wisely, and we should not take everything, but we should save much of it. Where did you get those references? May I ask you? We, we got the references from the Bible, from the, from the old books here. And, uh, and the facts? Where the those facts? The question is answerable by yes or no. Yes. Yes. Okay, so, is the internet your source? No. Are you sure? Yes. Answer me honestly.
Okay, and the last number. Okay, exchange your word. Exchange your word. Okay, the answers, please write your name as the correct word. These are the answers. Yes, no, no, yes, no. Yeah. Oh, not perfect. Who oh, got perfect? Who oh, got perfect? Who oh, got perfect? Raise your hand. Okay. Four. You say four. Four. Uh, why? Why are you were not able to get perfect? Are you were not able to view the picture? Yes. Okay, so. Four is not three. Who got three? Nah. Zero, zero. Zero. Oh, okay, that's not the problem. Okay, so for your assignment, listen up. For your assignment, you are going to meditate no, after our activity. You meditate when you get home. What have you learned from our topic today? And write a reflection. Write a reflection out of 100 to 200 words in a short bank paper or any tablet paper. Then, include the insights you gain from the debate and suggest some ways for improvement. Do not occupy the back portion of your paper, ha? only the first first page. You know? 100 to 200 words and that will be submitted tomorrow. Did you get me? Yes. Okay, so thank you so much and congratulations. Wala ka pa napapansin sa iyong mga kapalikiran mo.